hello guys welcome back to another video today um obviously that is my Premier League prediction video for the week uh 27 I believe um sorry it's a bit late um but still on the same day um so without any further ado let's get into it guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first one I'm going for, the first one I'm gonna predict is the big one of the week and that's why it's got on my front uh from now is Tottenham Arsenal at Wembley. Now if no matter which way I predict this um obviously as I say it's my it's my personal views, everyone could be wrong but this what I do so if it's wrong it's wrong if it's right it's right um one more thing for us I just want to say about whoever is going away this weekend um have a safe journey um I hope you have a good day out um so yeah just have a safe journey stay safe and I hope you have a good weekend. So the game I'm was going to talk about is Tottenham Arsenal. Um, now Arsenal just won against a lower league team. Now every time Arsenal do this, they seem to go and lose against the top team. I've noticed this season. Um, so for that one, I'm going for a Tottenham home win. Sorry, Arsenal fans. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is Everton versus Crystal Palace at Goodison Park. Um, Everton lost to Arsenal this previous weekend. Um, and I think Crystal Palace drew. Yeah, they drew one on. Um, so for that one, I'm going to just slightly tip it off for an Everton home win. Um, I just reckon that Arsenal game they went for a bit of a dippy spot out. Come on. Is it Arsenal or Chelsea ever to put in the comments below? Um I think it might have been Ar yeah it was Arsenal. Yeah. It's alright. Um The next one I'm gonna talk to you about is my local team. Um We're playing a way to Stoke this weekend at the Bre uh Bet three six five stadium. Um, quality week for us, uh, beating West Ham, um, I'm going to tip us off for the win again, um, only because Stoke seems to be going a dip in form recently, um, and as you'll be able to tell by my phone now, I did say it's a big week for everyone, which is on both sides of the table, if we win this weekend, then it will be... I think we're like two wins away from safety there or thereabouts so for that one I'm going to go Brighton away win now the next one oh, Swansea versus Burnley at the Liberty Stadium um, now Swansea have picked up in form Burnley ain't been doing too badly this season so for that one I'm going to call it a draw. The next one is West Ham versus Watford at the London Stadium. Now Watford just beat Chelsea 4-1 at Vicarage Road this previous weekend just gone. Um, as I said we beat West Ham. Um, if I'm going with my personal thoughts, I would probably go with a Watford away win on that one. Um, so we West Ham fans, as I said in the vlog, um, I think the London Stadium don't suit your style of play. Um, I saw it again down here. Uh, what 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 you're trying to do when you're up Upton Park, where your pitch was so small you could cover it 
But now that as you've got a bigger stadium, the pitch is bigger, you're trying to shrink the pitch, you're not trying to use the wings as such. Um, so that's why I think you're struggling a lot. Um, I weren't in favour of you getting it anyway. Um, and obviously you're, you're coming to halves. Um, I heard you've got a march going on uh, in the 10th of March, I believe. Good luck with that. Um, I don't like to see no club in two halves, um, especially between the board and that. Brighton went for it 20 odd years ago. Um, we lost to Goldstone. Um, we also got rid of our board as well. Um, and then that left us a team but no ground to play with. So we went to Gillingham for two years and we end up coming back down here and moving to the Wolfstein. I think it was about 10, 10, 11 years before we got the MX. So, West Ham fans, I hope you get it sorted soon. Um, I like I was actually up Upton Park when you beat us 6 1. Um, 6 1, 6 0. Um, that's a that's the teams I like to see play. I don't like to see them in two parts. Um, but I hopefully for you West Ham fans that you get yourself sorted soon. Um, but for that one, I'm going Watford away with. The next one, oh, this is a big one. Man U City versus Leicester at the Etihad. Now. Do I go Leicester thinking that Man City gonna think the goal walk all over them, or do I go uh, Man City and they do what I do ever since the season started? Really, score maximum goals. So for that one, hmm, I go. I go. Man City home win. Now on to Sunday's games. Um, Huddersfield versus Bournemouth. Now Huddersfield are going a bit dipping form uh, in the relegation zone, I believe, at the minute. Um, now Eddie Howard uh, and Bournemouth have reasonably come hard recently um, so for that one I'm tipping it off for Bournemouth away win the next one is a big game um, for example if you're going to call Palace Brighton a derby then you've got to call this game a derby even though it's further stretched than what us and Palace are it's Newcastle versus Man United these are games that I look forward to um, as a football fan point of view. They're always interesting. There's always something happening in these games. But um, for that one, I'm going for a Man United away win. Now the next one is Southampton Liverpool. Now last time I done this was the Chelsea Watford game and I said Chelsea will win this hands down. Um obviously it turned out not to be. Um Van Dyke um obviously it's his old team. Uh I'm not sure if he'd be playing or not. Um, yeah, again, Liverpool fans put down in the comments below uh, whether he's he's playing or he's been suspended or what. Um, so for that one, I'm going for a shock, and I'm going for a Southampton home win. Now the last game of the weekend is. Chelsea versus West Brom at Stamford Bridge. 
Right, which way do I go on this one? So you know someone done this, so I went, oh yeah, Chelsea are it hands down. Sorry Watford fans proved me wrong. Uh, well done to Watford anyway for beating Chelsea. So for this one, I'm going to go another shock, and I'm going to go West Brom away win. Alright guys, that's the end of this week's prediction. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and ciao for now.